the Catholic justification for the transatlantic slave trade. All right, so now we got to get into this because this is one of the major uh, contributing facts to the slave trade would be missionary work, conversion, things like that. So the first thing would be the Great Commission. That is Matthew 28, verses 19 through 20. And that's where after Jesus ascended, he comes down and he says, go ye therefore and teach all nations. That is Matthew 28, 19 and 20. That is that what that verse in scripture is talking about. So when it says teach all nations, it also means people who have never heard of Christianity, never heard because they thought it was a mandate by God for them to convert uh, non-Christians. Second, obedience to authority, which can be found in Romans 13, 1 through 7. OK, and that's basically saying where you're supposed to be obedient to authority. This is another one of those God given rights that the Catholic Church felt that they had over other people. Right. But they could issue one of those papal bulls to basically kind of add on to what the Bible was already trying to influence. Christian dominion from Genesis 1 28. This is where man was given dominion over the earth. They felt like in the Catholic Church that that dominion was also issued to the European. So that is another reason or another justification that was done through the Catholic Church of why slave trade, because they felt like they had dominion over the whole planet. And if you feel like you have dominion and you feel like, you you know, once you do get them uh, become when you can convert them to Christianity and Jesus himself in Matthew allegedly told them to go ye therefore and teach all nations. Those are like three things lining up for why they decided to do the transatlantic slave trade. Next, you have the concept of what is called a just war, meaning that if you are going into battle against non-Christians, Muslims, anybody who is not a Christian, that is what a just war. So these are just the way the Catholic Church justified enslaving other nations. They justified all of the crusades. They justify anything against who anybody who could be considered a heathen. And last but not least, the concept of what a heathen is to begin with. And they were also not like the Bible teaches us, right? The Bible doesn't teach conversion by force, right? But Whatever you ready to take them cheeks off. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. 